Once the drawings are ready, at least in the first best version, it is time to start the specification. The specification is developed as a Word document in a template we provide that you may download under resources at our home page. You should download this template and save it with a file name of your own choosing to develop your specification. A new copy will always be available in our resources. Once you have downloaded and saved your beginning spec, we will, we will provide specific guidance to build a specification to its completion. But for this video, we want to touch briefly on each part of the specification and the order of development. Firstly, the title. We will help you determine a title, and it's a relatively simple matter. And all you do is type in your title in place of the title um, that we have here. Cross-reference to related applications is very seldom used and will normally be deleted. It's only used in situations where we're uh, preparing to file a patent application as a continuation of a previous application. So most, more often than not, this would simply be deleted. Under background of the invention, there are two parts, field of the invention and description of related art. Under field of the invention, we'll simply type in two or three lines that will state the technical area of your invention and sometimes a more specific focus of your invention within that technical area. Under description of related art, we have one or two paragraphs, hopefully only one which describes the problems and unmet needs in the technical area in the art that your invention addresses. We try to keep the description of related art as short as possible. The next is brief summary of the invention. Now this is why we said that we wanted to discuss the order of development because the summary of the invention is left to last. We don't do it in the next step in order. We leave it until the claims are completely finished. So we skip for now the brief summary of the invention in the order of development. We go to the brief description of the several views of the drawings. And this is just as it says a brief description. If you have seven drawings we'll have figure one, figure two, up through figure seven and a simple one or two line statement that figure one is an elevation view of whatever the invention is in an embodiment of the invention. It's very simple. We'll guide you through that um, and it's, um, it, it's not difficult at all. And then we come to the really important part and that's the detailed description of the invention. The way the detailed description is developed is as a description of each of the figure numbers in order, figure one, figure two, just as if perhaps you had put the figure on a whiteboard or a display in a classroom and you were explaining your invention to, to students in the class. You describe each element and the, with uh, using the element numbers uh, and the names of the elements. Uh, one at a time and we are going to develop this for you, show you exactly how this is done. And in point of fact, we are going to provide examples in different types of inventions, in different technical areas. So if your invention happens to be a relatively simple mechanical device, we'll have an example for a relatively simple mechanical device. We'll have examples for uh, electronic inventions for internet um, sorts of inventions so that you will have examples from which you may choose that will be rather close to the technology in the art that, that your invention um, is in. And then we come on a separate page to the claims and we will show you how to develop the claims for your invention. The claims are really the heart of the matter because in the end it's only the claims that may be asserted that the patent owner may uh, prevent others from making, using, or selling the way the invention is described in the claims. But you don't have to have a finished set of claims that are locked in concrete to file a patent application because the claims can always be entered later, changed later, developed later. 
Uh, and in fact, they almost always are in the examination process. The claims will be amended and altered. So we will do the best job. You should do the best job you can with our help of developing your claim set to start. We want a good set of claims, but we don't have to worry over much about it because we can always change them later if we wish or if we have to. Once the claims are done, we come to the abstract and we use claim one to make the abstract of the disclosure by describing claim one in a narrative fashion. Once that's done, we go back and we block copy all of the claims. We take that copy into under the brief summary of the invention and we paste it there. Then we have all of the claims under brief summary and we rewrite those claims in a narrative form to make the summary. And we will guide you step by step through this process. It's relatively easy to do. It's not difficult. Uh, but this is the way that it, it must be done to have a proper patent application ready to file. And now that we've finished a general discussion of the order of development of the specification, it is time to go back to the navigation pane and select step 7, which is the step where you begin the actual filling in of your specification beginning with the title.